Are you and your organization trying to modernize your paper-based tests and how they are taken? You're transitioning to online testing, but lack the resources to input all of the candidates' results automatically into the system. Rest your worries aside as we present You Test Me and Remark Solution for all your paper-based testing problems. The process is fairly simple. Remark Office, OMR supports multiple choice, single choice, and true or false question types. Once you've created a test in the application, the next step would be to export the test package. To access the testing location page, click the Testing Centers module in the main menu and select Testing Sessions. To export a paper-based package, please follow the next steps. Click the list icon. Click the three dots and select the sharing menu. Then click on the button to export the test package. In the pop-up confirmation dialog, click the confirm button. The exported zip file will contain the test and its version, student labels, signing sheet, package summary. In the remark software, the next step is to create a new template. Select the file option and new template. Select the Capture Image button and wait for a Create Page Elements pop-up window. Select the Read Images option and the Browse Through Your Personal Files until you find the exported PDF you want to import into Remark. Wait for it to finish importing and then click the OK button. Once the software reads the template we imported, it's important to first explain the functionalities that we will be using in the software. In the Remark Office OMR software, it is possible to mark your answers and questions using a special tool to identify the regions. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. OCR allows you to read machine-printed characters. Click and drag the purple section here, for instance, for the username. A pop-up dialog will appear and you will input the region name. We'll call it Username. The OCR type should be Legacy. To read text discovered using invasive techniques within a rectangular area of a window. Click OK. Next, we'll go to the second page where our questions and answers are located. Click on the OMR option and drag it onto the field where the answer bubble are. OMR allows you to read any fill in the bubble type forms. We'll type out answer one inch in the region name and we'll leave the OMR type the same. The region orientation should be changed to column and then you can type out the labels in the table below. In the advanced region properties, we should set the multiple responses as not allowed. Set the replace with field with nothing and flag blanks with never. Repeat the same for all of the other answer bubbles. These settings apply for single and true and false question types. For multiple choice questions, the OMR region definition settings stay the same, but in the advanced region properties, the settings will be different. In multiple responses, we'll enable the allow all option. Minimum responses is not required. And blank response exceptions will remain the same as the previous question types. Let's save this template next and save it in a designated place on our desktop. From the candidate perspective, taking the test should look something like this. From the candidate's perspective, taking the test should look like this. First, the test should be printed. The paper test should appear from the printer as such. When the student is ready to take the test, it will be as simple as setting the test down and circling the correct answers. You should fill the circles in by using a pen. After all of the candidates have finished their test attempts, use a scanner to send the answers back. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will use the Ricoh Phi 8170 scanner. This is a document scanner with various features designed for efficiency, productivity, and image quality. It offers fast scanning speeds capable of scanning up to 70 pages per minute in simplex and 140 images per minute in duplex mode. All you need to do is connect the scanner to your laptop, set all of the tests into the scanner, and then begin the process. One by one, the tests will be scanned and you will see them appear back on your computer. Within minutes, hundreds of finished tests will be sent back into the computer. When you're ready to open your template again, after the candidate has completed their test attempt, click on Open from Template and select the template you want. When you open it, you will gain access to a structured digital document. And the next step you need to take is to click on the Read button above the sheet. 
Click on Read Images and then the next button. Select the file you will import into the database and click on Add Selected and Read. In the table, you'll see that the fields have been filled with the appropriate data. When all selected answers have been read and processed through the template, you can click on any field to view it in more detail. Afterward, you'll save the data from the file drop-down menu and await a new pop-up window. Give it a file name in this field, choose where to save it, and make sure that this file is saved as a CSV to allow us to import it back into the application. Now that you've saved your CSV file, you should go to the Candidates tab and then locate the Import button. You can import the results by clicking the Import Remark Results button and selecting the right file. This will successfully send the results back to the application. This collaboration offers a highly effective solution for various applications ensuring efficient and accurate data analysis and interpretation.